Last week, I worked from the darks into the lights. Looking at the painting now, reverse that, go from the lights into the darks. I do this a lot where it's working from the darks to the lights, then lights to the darks, and going back and forth. That way helps me to get like a richer, more luminous, like atmospheric painting. So I'm going to go into like those bright parts in my face. Today I'm going to focus on the light that's on the forehead and work on getting that to be brighter, more colorful, and then work that into the darks and the shadows. I don't have a ton of time to paint today. It's kind of late in the day, so I'm just going to get as far as I can and try and set myself up well for tomorrow. Monday, working from lights to darks, I start in the highlight on the forehead. There is one right above the eyebrow and then one a bit above that on my forehead, but I'm really treating it like one large bright spot right now, not dividing it up into the two separate ones. I want to make sure that the planes on my face make more sense color-wise and brightness-wise before I drop in that super bright highlight. Tuesday, I work down the face starting in the cheekbone and again working lights into darks. I want to make sure the highlight on the cheekbone makes sense with the highlight that's up on the forehead and that it appropriately wraps around from the cheekbone temple to forehead. I also brighten things up a bit on the cheek and jaw area, also moving around the mouth area, getting those areas to be lighter and more colorful. And I bring some tones from the above jaw area down into the neck area because I see that the neck area needs some work, like needs to be brightened in certain spots. But this is really just a note I'm leaving for myself for another day. And then Wednesday, I work with the nose. Lights to darks, getting everything to be lighter and more colorful. I'm trying to work with the planes of the nose and only when I get those really basic planes figured out do I drop in the highlight that runs down the nose and put that in. And once I get that highlight in, which is the brightest highlight on the whole face, I then make appropriate adjustments with the highlights that's on the cheekbone and forehead. This day was actually pretty, it was a pretty frustrating day. I'm not loving the direction that the portrait is going in and I'm I'm making things brighter and more colorful but the colors seem to be a bit off like things are too warm things are like too too many pinks and purples and not enough cools and so at the end of the painting day I spend a lot of time considering with how I want to proceed next. Thursday was not an Icarus painting day so Friday I decide that it would be best to work on the hair. The hair is bright and colorful and I want to get a lot of greens in the half tones in the hair. I feel that this will balance out all the reds and pinks that are in the face. And so while working on the hair, I am looking at myself in the mirror, but it's not directly just painting what I'm seeing, but more working on instinct this day. So this day, painting felt really really good and I really liked the process. I liked what I was doing a whole bunch. I got this bright glowing hair that looked so soft compared to the portrait and at the end of the process when I had all the mixtures for the hair I took some of those greenest mixtures and dropped them in on the face where I needed more cools greens and I put them in half tone areas like in the forehead and jaw area and now the value isn't perfect in those areas 
anymore, but putting those green notes in definitely showed me where I need to take the portrait in the future to balance out the warms and cools. I also then worked on the neck and the chest, and I brought some more atmospheres and shadows and darks going across the neck and chest, so it had more of a gradual, more pleasing transi transitions from hair to neck and chest back to the hair again. And at the end of this painting session day, I started mixing for the shirt because I wanted to add the same mixtures and new mixtures of the hair and neck and chest into the shirt. Though once I was done mixing up um, everything that I needed, something came up and I couldn't paint for the rest of the paint for the rest of the day. So then I ended up just saving those mixtures for Saturday. Saturday, I got out my mixtures and worked on the shirt, making sure it made more sense with the hair and the flesh tones. And I feel like when I was working with the shirt, it, things got a bit darker than they perhaps need to be with like a nice bright white shirt. But I feel like the shirt makes more sense in context with everything else because I do have those mixtures that make sense with the hair and flesh tones. So I'll definitely be making adjustments to make the shirt look a bit more bright, but I really like the direction that it's going in now. I just painted the shirt in the painting and these are my mixtures that I'm using that I saved from yesterday, Friday. So how I make my mixtures is I don't mix all of these all at once because I don't know exactly the right values and colors that I want. So yesterday when I was working on the hair, these I had mixed up from the, the painting already. And then as I was working on the hair, I ended up adding these right here. And then for the skin, I added these two, maybe these three when I was working on the neck and chest. And then um, also these purples as well, these two. And then for then working in the shirt, I wanted to make sure that I was using those same mixtures in the hair and the skin so it would have nice context with the shirt. So then I added these uh, lighter mixtures. So I have like lighter purples, lighter is kind of like a greenish yellow, and then um, a bit warmer here. So that's kind of how I mix up colors. I kind of make more as I go. I am really excited for next week because, well, I, I'm, I think I'm going to be spending next week, Monday, working on the hand and arm. But for the rest of the time, the last week in January, I'm going to be working on the background and foreground and moving that away from that like dark block in which I have right now and more more moving it along to the resolved painting so that the background and foreground is going to change a lot and I think that's going to be really fun to paint in next week. I'm Jennifer Marie Keller. You can subscribe to this YouTube channel and I also have all of my social media links down below.